What's good, everybody? Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to another episode. And in this one, we are talking GTA 6. That's right. Now, this news actually surfaced a couple years ago, but for some reason, there's been fresh articles about it in the first half of this year. And I've seen a couple other bigger YouTube channels covering this. And since there's been a fair amount of time in the blockchain gaming space over here, I figure we might as well go ahead and take a look. So, without further ado, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just here to bring you the news. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and let's get to it. Alright, now let's go ahead and get to these articles. Now we got two that we're going to read through a couple chunks of and then another one just for reference after that I don't know maybe go uh, poke around on uh, Twitter a little bit or something so let's go ahead and get cracking Grand Theft Auto Online's new update teases metaverse ambitions so the Grand Theft Auto franchise has always made a point to separate itself from the real world this helps players buy into the idea that the GTA world is a character of the US there's no FBI, it's the FIB, and they really are always listening. Pop stars are airheaded, tech bros are annoying, and CEOs and executives are just plain evil. And while some of those things mirror our own reality, the rest is over the top satire. Grand Theft Auto was built upon that cartoon world. Now remember, this article that we're going through right now was written back in 2021. But, Grand Theft Auto Online's latest expansion, the contract, so this came out a while ago, continues a trend that flies against that foundation. It prominently features Dr. Dre, whom players interact with and talk to regularly over the course of the update's content. There's a full cutscene where players hang out with Dre as he records a track with Anderson Pack. At the expansion's end, Dre sits in a luxury car with the player and tells them how important they are to him and debuts a brand new song. The expansion and its contents reek of the metaverse and could signal a massive pivot for Grand Theft Auto as a franchise. The games, which have previously made fun of high profile musicians, movies, and other celebrities, could soon be packed full of them as they become the next metaverse staging ground. So we already know Snoop got his metaverse thing uh, starting to roll out here. I don't know if it actually launched yet, but the hangout with Snoop thing, uh, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's at least close to launching. That's been that's been speculated for. I mean, I don't even want to say speculated because it's uh, it's known that he's been working on it. But his his metaverse content, I believe, is supposed to be launching soon if it hasn't already. Um, and that was uh, around the time that. Uh, the other guy did the whatever let's stay on track here <laughs> entering the meta in truth Grand Theft Auto has always been or has been metaverse adjacent for some time now the game has its own currency which players compete to earn and then spend on things like virtual properties and cars while those two things also have their own gameplay implications the game intends for players to simply live in those spaces as well Bottles of wine and liquor line shelves, waiting to get player avatars drunk. And there's always a bone packed and at the ready to deliver a virtual high. This is just, um, you know, you can go buy the crib in GTA Online and then, you know, you can actually get your player drunk or, uh, <laughs> or smoke the bone and then like the screen reacts to, um, or the, the game plays in reaction to what you do there. The world of Grand Theft Auto Online has always been one meant for players to inhabit. While so much of the game's different facets are centered around gameplay mechanics, others are just for show. For players to say they have as they occupy a space in virtual Los Santos. Take the game's Lowriders for example, which players can get by spending hundreds of thousands of dollars customizing low tier cars. Sure. They can make the car bump with hydraulics and blast music from it. <laughs> Look at me bumping with massive built-in speakers. But it's a waste if we're talking gameplay practicality. It's purely optional. 
and only for players to immerse themselves further into the game's world. There's always been a line drawn between the game's metaverse elements and its gameplay elements. Interesting. Yeah, because it's always had like a game, right? You can go and play through, but then, yeah, like you can build a house in there essentially. Um, the contract removes that line. Through bridging Grand Theft Auto fully into the metaverse with the first event that combines its world and ours. Like one of the Fortnite concerts, players are treated to a stream of new music by Dr. Dre, who has been scanned directly into the game. Of course, they have to compete, they have to complete missions for the musician where enemies are slaughtered wholesale as well. The two go hand in hand. That's like a brain bash to think about, right? Like, you think about the West Coast rappers and you think of kind of the the West Coast rapper story and how they was making music about the environment that they had to live in, not encouraging it. But then, you know, you kind of got a game right here where <laughs> he's encouraging it. Um, but anyway, moving on. Just the beginning. Grand Theft Auto Online is a cousin of Fortnite, bringing real-world pop culture unto its universe, albeit over its in-game airwaves and spin-offs of real-world supercars. Spider-Man can't fight back Rick from Rick and Morty in the game, sure, but that's because the game is still limited somewhat by its realistic base. That doesn't mean that updates like the contract are off-limits, though. Daily Games version of Fortnite's digital concerts and they're seemingly far from over. Once players complete the contract, Franklin contacts them, saying they did a great job. But there's more work to be done. Franklin is hot on the trail of yet another A-list client for players to work with, and the UI that Dr. Dre's VIP missions are accepted through is clearly meant to even to hold even more. So Potentially more high profile clients to do to hire you to do some dirt. <laughs> but now this was from back in 2021. So what you have here is just just kind of the the building blocks. So they're telling you, look, GTA already has the ability for you to do things and earn money, right? But now you introduce right earn virtual money, but now you introduce something like crypto to it and now now this is a this is like a whole new ball game rockstar games to launch gta 6 metaverse with in-game cryptocurrency rumors <clears throat> rumors are doing the rounds that rockstar games could integrate an in-game cryptocurrency in the upcoming grand theft auto 6 a recent report from Seeking Alpha claims that Rockstar Games' parent company, Take-Two Interactive, could be considering introducing the GTA 6 metaverse. Both Rockstar Games and Take-Two Interactive have remained tight-lipped about the development and production details of GTA 6. Now, they're talking about how this virtual game currency is already very similar to crypto. What has your boy been? Go back and watch the video I did on NBA 2K. It's the same deal. It's the same deal. Let's get it. It's the same stuff. GTA 6. Metaverse in-game cryptocurrency to be introduced? Question mark. GTA 6 is underway. Uh, this article again, sorry I forgot to date it, was from 2023. February back in 2023. Uh back in February of this year. But anyway, <laughs> as the leaks in 2022 confirmed that the gameplay has progressed extensively, a recent article by Seeking Alpha claims that Take-Two Interactive could define the next decade of gaming. The development could also include metaverse and cryptocurrency integration. If you're gonna do it, why not do it with a huge title? A huge title like GTA. Take-Two may even adopt blockchain and crypto in GTA 6, which would further the concept of a GTA metaverse. 
Given everything that's been leaked so far, GTA 6 will likely be far more than a traditional game and more of a platform, the article read. Is you following? <laughs> this is this is nuts. GTA Online has already integrated many aspects of the metaverse. It could be only a matter of time before they enter the new technological sphere. So this was the tweet from Watcher Guru from June of last year. GTA 6 leaks suggest the story will take place in Columbia, Miami, and will include in-game cryptocurrency rewards for players to earn and trade. Now you got GTA working as a P2E game. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. GT, this, can you imagine the amount of the fistful of money that this game could make if this launches successfully? This is insane. Um, in addition, Take-Two Interactive is taking GTA 6 seriously as its share prices now depend on the game. A successful GTA could make Take-Two shares hit the roof and generate capital growth. Also in 2013, it took Rockstar Games' three days uh, just three days to earn one billion from worldwide. World, oh my! I, these numbers are so big I can't even read no more. This is this is crazy. Also in 2013, it took Rockstar Games three days to earn one billion from worldwide sales of GTA 5. It is now looking to break the record by making GTA 6 more robust and earning one billion in a day or two. So they did a billion in three days off of this game. A billion in three days? Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh. This, what? This is the kind of, now, that was in the first three days of the of the, uh, of the release. We're not talking about any of the additional stuff. Like, this, <laughs> I want to know how much this game grossed in total. Because it's got to be an astronomical number. Probably at least three. Probably at least three, Billy. Off of one game? Oh my goodness. This is crazy. Nevertheless, the GTA Metaverse concept and in-game cryptocurrency integration are not confirmed. Not confirmed. This is a theory. Rockstar Games and Take-Two Interactive might never confirm the development. Why would they? <laughs> we will have to wait and watch when the game releases to find out if GTA has metaverse and cryptocurrency integration Whew. that's some heat that's some heat now again this was back in february now watch it our guru also dropped uh this one in march um about gta 6. Uh, here's why gta 6 may revive its metaverse plan so there's really just this one spot out of here that i wanted to grab Um, so yeah, again, the top part just goes through, hey, remember, this is just a theory. Uh, so will GTA 6 have a metaverse and cryptocurrency? So this is, uh, Watcher Guru trying to address the question again. So according to Walter Lee, gaming growth lead at BNB chain, pause, BNB, what other project was thinking about? BNB chain is thinking about launching on BNB chain. I said in a recent video and I was like, I don't BNB maybe I don't really get that one, but apparently games like BNB chain too. That's good. so hey, let's go. The prohibition is <laughs> not financial advice. The prohibition is more related to NFTs than blockchain technology. Okay, he believes mainstream studios would embrace the technology once more regulation is in place to ensure player safety. He mentioned that people do not fully understand Web3. What other project is categorized in gaming and is building technology for nfts on web3 can i can i interest you in a left 
<laughs> not financial advice. Not financial advice. Can I interest you in a left? Moreover, the space lacks proper regulation. As a result, several users and businesses are dubious about the advantages and frauds that are frequently associated with it. According to Mojang Studios, I might be saying that wrong, wash trading, ownership issues, and rug pulls were some of the reasons the studio banned NFTs. So, the same old, the same old generic answers. Um, scams, rug pulls, regulation, same, same song and dance. The executive director of Wagyu Games, Grant Hazley, claimed that the reason for the resistance to adoption is their concern that it will undermine the current economic model of the customer strictly paying for entertainment. According to Justin Hulog, Chief Studio Officer at Immutable Game Studio, the most successful entertainment product of all time is GTA 5. Additionally, a sizable amount of these earnings come from in-game currency microtransactions. So, again, that's what I was getting at. They made three billy. <laughs> My bad, y'all. One billy. I was getting a little hype. <laughs> off of selling the game in for the most part, three days in, most people haven't really done any microtransactions. So, <laughs> he continued by saying that Microsoft has previously integrated microtransactions into Minecraft. It makes financial sense for both firms to want to maintain control over their in-game economies. Therefore, GTA 6's metaverse plans could happen, given there is more regulation in the space and that there is significant public demand. So they're basically saying the, uh, people, uh, the people are asking for this. So uh, that, that is some heat right there. Like, so they're, so they're saying like it's, let's go back to this one real quick. Most successful, oh, nope, that was, uh, here we go. They were saying that this that this that their concern is that it will undermine the current economic model. This that was from uh, Wagyu Games, Wagyu Games. However, if you want to pronounce it properly, but it's I don't know that it will undermine it because again, they made three billy off of just selling. right like so to add something additional just creates an economy after that i mean nba 2k is already doing it they've been doing it for years <laughs> they gave you they gave you a created player which is an avatar right <laughs> just like the first article said you can get your avatars drunk they gave you an avatar and told you to spend money on making it look good <laughs> so and they made a lot of money doing it actually I believe we we looked at at least a small bit of the financials in that NBA 2k video I might link that one in the description it's not a it's a little bit of a different format than this one is not right it's not this style of video it's a little different it's one of my more creative ones but uh, very interesting similarities similarities now I did take a look at t2 I'm not interested in buying T2 because it's one of those things that's just too rich for me. Um, but one of the articles said they expect T2 to make a whole fistful of money off of this. Um, yeah, but this one is already trading at 141 bucks, so I'm good on that. I did five year, and it got us back to 2019. So, oh no, we did get 2018 in there. There we go. Um, yeah, when this thing launched, it closed at 116, reached a high of 210 in 2021 before it came back down. And they're expecting that it'll be. So, that's some possible volatility, but again, I'm not, I'm not dipping in, in T2. Some of y'all that like stocks might be interested, but it's a uh, little too rich for me. So I thought that was actually pretty. Let's go check out. Um, 
Let's go check out Watcher Guru uh, on Twitter. Can I get Twitter? One well, once, going twice. Oh, what? Uh, this is something I was looking at earlier, y'all. I'll be tripping. Uh, this is Zucker. What do y'all, matter of fact, yeah, what do y'all think about this Zuckerberg versus, uh, versus Elon Cage match thing? Like, this is, this is just view generation junk to me. <laughs> like, I don't. Is these dudes going to, like, box for real, for real? Like, I don't I don't see that. I don't, maybe maybe they'll box in the metaverse? I don't know. Elon sent his robot? <laughs> Zuckerberg is a robot, so... <laughs> Let me stop playing, man. Let me stop playing. Uh, but I don't I don't know. I think it's just something else. This to create a little social media division, you know, whatever. Um... Da -da -da -da. Uh, no, there's still more Elon stuff. I know I had a tab on it. This, by the way, I was looking at this. Optimus will come in many forms. I just thought that, uh, I was looking at that tweet because I'm like, it made me think. Optimus, right? Like, Optimus Prime, the Transformer, many forms, right? Transform. Anyway, um, Watcher Guru, that's where we wanted to go. I wanted to come check out Watcher Guru. Mm mm mm. Huh, interesting. So some of the folks that I follow follow Watcher Guru. Quite a bit of them actually, and I ain't got that many. By the way, go ahead and hit the follow, you know, if you're a Twitter person. Uh but interesting. Um Piccolo and that's the Piccolo NFT um Twitter account. But anyway, uh, Watcher Guru. Oh, so Watcher Guru is not just like a, a crypto. Watcher Guru's got some other stuff cracking here. SEC finds JP Morgan after 47 million banking records were accidentally deleted. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I'm going to have to go check that out. Fitzgerald Jerome Powell says it's appropriate to raise interest rates another two times this year. Huh. He says crypto appears to have staying power as an asset class. Y'all think crypto going somewhere? You got GTA possibly playing an in-game currency dealing with crypto. But that's all I have for y'all. Uh, I'm gonna have to come check out Watch Your Guru. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come check out Watch Your Guru. Um, anyway, that is all I have for y'all in this video. And yeah, I guess since we're here, we're gonna go ahead and end this one with a question. With games like GTA uh, having its the in-game currency thing going, uh, NBA 2K in-game currency, Minecraft in-game currency, do you think that crypto and blockchain and NFTs is just a passing trend? You know what my answer is? No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. 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 Hell no. 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 I refuse. No. No. What's yours? And until next time, don't get shook. Stay focused. I'm out. Still French.